To another anime kingdom vlog yes i know it's been quite a while since i've made a video um you guys have been probably wondering like what's happened to this channel is this channel dead it's been like two weeks since i've made my last video and i i've been telling you guys that things have been pretty hectic I mean, it's, it's been pretty stressful because not only is this semester for my school probably the hardest but i've had to do a lot of other things but finally for sure now i have a set schedule that i will be able to do um this season of course will be one of the seasons that i've reviewed the least amount um i'm only going to be reviewing four things that of course is violet evergarden shokugeki no soma the manga and then um darling in the franks and also fate slash extra last encore those are the four things that i'm going to be reviewing i do plan of course on reviewing a lot more when the next season does come along because i have a lot i want to watch and review but also because since I'll be starting this schedule I'll probably have a more consistent schedule from then on so hopefully things do work out like that but yeah sorry everyone that has been wondering where my video has been in everything but these are the four anime and manga obviously that I will be watching reading and reviewing for this season so only four episodes every week not a lot for you know four different videos every week not a lot in comparison to what I've done before but that's just how it's going to be for at least this season of course obviously the weekly vlogs will of course be coming back as well and I have another thing that I've been wanting to do for quite a while as you guys know I had a gaming channel we gaming um, I've kind of thrown that around thinking do I want to bring that channel back in the end I've decided against it but I will be doing something new and it's something that I've wanted to do for quite a while as well and that is that I will be live streaming on Twitch every day so daily streams um, right now my schedule is 6 p.m. Pacific time to sorry not 6 p.m. On Monday through Thursday, it'll be 8 p.m. Pacific time to 10 p.m. Pacific time. And Friday to Saturday, um, to Sunday will be 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Pacific time. And then it's kind of like depending on the day I may tweet out or put, you know, post on Facebook as well. If something goes on, I may push the, you know, the timing before, push the timing after. It's kind of just a, a learning process to see what's a good schedule for me and, of course, for you guys as well. And as of this moment... Um, it's going to be only two hours every day, but we may, you know, just kind of gain into it and everything for now. So, uh, we'll see if it expands longer or shorter, probably longer. Obviously, I don't think it's going to go any shorter than two hours. Um, but yeah, as of this moment, I've just... I haven't started yet because my computer ended up, one of the things when I tried to stream, it was overheating. Luckily, I did end up getting um, a new fan. I got a liquid cooler. Um, so it's it's actually really great now and I, it won't overheat. So I'll be streaming um, starting not today, but tomorrow I will be streaming. If you guys want to check it out, I have a link in below um, for my Twitch, which is now no longer Wii Gaming, or it was actually Tachi 044 because that was my old gamer tag, but now it is the Anime King, kind of like, you know, this is my Anime Kingdom, so if you guys want to go ahead and follow that channel, because I will be streaming daily, go ahead and check it out in the description below. Um, the first game that I'm going to be streaming, actually, is something that I, I've been talking to you guys for a while about doing certain games that I've, you know, I've watched the anime, but I've never played the games, and I talked about this a while ago, while back um so my first game i'm going to be streaming if you guys want to watch is going to be tales of zestria um i was about to say the cross but that's only the anime but yeah i'm going to be streaming tales of zestria super excited to see how that game is um i got it on steam as of this moment i do not have a ps4 so a lot of the games that i want to play that you guys have you know i've watched the animes of and everything i currently cannot do that but tales of zestria luckily was on steam i also looking for tales of Biseria as well but that will be coming of course after tales of zestria but yeah really looking forward to how the rest of this season goes you know finally having a consistent schedule for my youtube channel and then of course streaming on the site as well um frequently every day for kind of just you know both of these chat both of these kind of things going on that's going to be what's going on in the future for me but yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say for the updates on this channel and, of course, the new things that I will be adding with the live stream as well. And, yeah, let's get on to the normal kind of thing that I do with my vlogs, which is what did I find, you know, pretty damn awesome in this past week? 
And there was a couple things, honestly. I was like really like when I saw it, I was like, holy crap. The first things up um, is actually Sword Art Online. I know some people may not like Sword Art, but I, you know me. I still do like it. I don't care what haters say. And one of the crazy things that I found out was that the Sword Art Online Integral Factor RPG mobile app is actually going to be having an English release. Now, you know my history with um, some of these app kind of stuff. I, whenever I play a game on my phone, I end up playing a lot at the very beginning and then I kind of just it kind of falls off. But who knows? It looks pretty fun. It's an RPG, sort of online RPG on your phone, and it's no, it's not released in for you know English yet. But I left it in the description below if you want to go ahead and check it out. There's like pre-registration that you could do, and then if you do that, you get to you know get a bunch of things when the game does come out. So if you want to go ahead and check that out. I definitely, you know, if you like Sword Art Online, you might as well go and check it out. Because that's why I decided, like, I love RPGs. I love Sword Art Online. It's on my phone. I can go and play it when I'm out or something. So, hey, what the heck? It doesn't hurt to go ahead and pre-register if you get free stuff, you know? So, I'm definitely looking forward to see how that will be when it does come out. It's already been released in Japan uh, with a Japanese release, obviously. But it's also going to be released for an English one. And I think also Chinese and Korean as well. So, any people in China or Korea can go ahead and, you know, get that get it as well and it's for both android and ios so that was a big thing as well because you know sometimes it's only on one and obviously i'm an android so it sucks when there's not you know for example what was it mario run i think it was when that first came out it did not come out on android that kind of that honestly sucked pretty damn bad because i couldn't play it for like the longest time and by the time it came out it was like the craze was kind of over and i was kind of I, I wasn't really as into it anymore already you know especially with the whole thing you have to pay stuff this is also i forgot to mention this is a free-to-play game but obviously there is some things that you can go and buy in game you know like most free to play games there's always those kind of things if you want you can go ahead and pay real money for these kind of things so um i don't usually pay for those kind of games but who knows if there's something cool maybe i will um but most of the time if it's free to play i kind of just stick to the free to play aspect i know like there's there's of course like league of legends i do play league and um yeah you know there's times when you want to go ahead and buy a skin and <laughs> Yeah, I've done it. I'll admit I've done it. So, yeah. Um, let's get on to the next thing. Um, it's also on Sword Art Online, actually. It's actually about the live-action series that we had heard about before, guys. It's actually be, it's been sold to Netflix, and it's already been stated that it will have English leads for, of course, Kirito and Asuna, which is pretty damn awesome. Like, as you know, there's a lot of people that really hate, like, when, um, you know, something comes out and then it gets completely whitewashed. And, you know, I understand that completely. But I'm just looking forward to a Sword Art Online live action series. I'm scared about it because, as you guys know, with live action series, a lot of the things for a game or for anime, it it doesn't usually end well. It usually goes pretty damn bad, if you ask me. Like, I end up watching it, and it's either they completely change the whole thing, or they leave it, and it ends up just being complete garbage somehow. So it's with these kind of things that there is excitement and i am excited to see how this live action series will be when it does you know is released on netflix um but i can't help but be a little scared that it ends up disappointing really hard and it ends up being trash and it's it's a big possibility considering the amount of live action series we have you know we have seen so far um from any anime adaptation or video game adaptation there are those you know those diamond in the rust kind of things where there are like somehow this one is really good but the majority of them are pretty damn bad but hopefully this one is good because as you guys know i do love sword Art online as well and a live action series would be pretty damn awesome to watch i'm not gonna lie um so let's move on to the next thing that's kind of the sword Art online stuff are out of the way um the next thing i gotta talk about is on bungo street dogs as you guys know i really did enjoy that when that you know the first season the second season did come out and of course i did talk about this i think last year that there was going to be a movie it's called Bungo Stray Dogs Dead Apple. And I was super excited to see how it is. We finally actually got a trailer. I watched it and holy shit. It showed like a bunch of action kind of things. And that already has me so damn hyped up. Because Bungo Stray Dogs 
already an awesome show. I love the characters. I love the story. I just love how it kind of connects, you know, real time, real life, you know, writers and everything and bring them into this world. And they have kind of like powers from their stories. If you have not watched Google Stray Dogs, I definitely recommend going ahead and watching that. And then, of course, after um, on March 3rd is when the movie comes out. Obviously, for us, we are probably going to have to wait quite a while for it to get some English subs. But when it does come out and when we do get those English subs, I'm definitely going to watch it. I'll give you guys a review on, you know, what I thought about that movie because honestly, I'm super excited to see from what we've seen in the trailer. It looks pretty damn excited, you know, pretty damn hyped up. But as trailers usually do, it's possibility that they showed all the good stuff right there and then it ends up not being good. But I have high hopes. I have high expectations because I've already seen the series and everything and I've enjoyed it. So hopefully this movie does do, you know, as good as it did for the series and who knows I, I actually don't know if it's going to be out in theaters as well like you know me I've already watched a couple movies in theaters um, like Fate and Sword Art Online so if there's one I got actually got to check because I actually didn't check before if there's one that's going to be released here in you know the US then I'm definitely going to go ahead and watch that because yeah like I said I love Bungo Stray Dogs and a movie is probably going to be awesome and speaking of movies we're going to go on to the next thing, which is actually not just a movie, um, but there's also going to be a second, se a second season, and that is on Don Machi on Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? Because is it? No, I don't think so. And as you guys know, I have a bunch of the light novel series. Um, ended up getting them because I want to see what happens after the anime, and it's pretty damn awesome. And recently... We just it just it was just announced that there is not only going to be a movie which is pretty damn awesome which I can't wait to see but there's also going to be a second season for sure. So I am super hyped about that. I read the book that the 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 volume that comes off right after where the anime leaves off and it it's pretty damn awesome. I'm not going to spoil anything obviously, but trust me, you are definitely going to be like, I'm definitely excited to see how it's going to be. And I definitely, like, if they do a good job at, you know, adapting it, that's always a big question. Then it's going to be a pretty damn good season. I would say maybe even better than the first season, which is pretty crazy because I honestly say Don Machi season one was pretty damn awesome. And I always wondered when were they going to make a second season. And finally it is announced. And it's, I've been waiting for, like, how long since the first season come out. But finally it is announced. Can't wait to see that. Can't wait to see the movie. If the movie comes out in theaters as well in the U.S., I am definitely going to be watching that as well because that is probably one of my favorite series that I've watched in quite a while. And to hear that not only is it getting a second season, but it's also going to be getting a movie, that's just that's the tip of the iceberg, man. I am just so super hyped and excited for that. But, but yeah, that's all I got. See, guys, hope you enjoyed this Anime Kingdom vlog. If you have any questions on anything I talked about from my new, you know, the consistent schedule that should be going on with you know violet evergarden video coming out tomorrow um and that's the big thing actually is that i actually have to catch up with some of the things i've been ca i've been caught up with violet evergarden and with shokugeki no soma so those two should be pretty damn easy coming out this week but i actually have to catch up to darling in the franks and fate slash extra last encore because i have not had the time to continue to watch those as much but i'm definitely excited to go ahead and binge watch those to catch up and give you guys those videos on time when it comes out so be on the lookout for that because it should be coming out consistently on the day it comes out for this week and of course the week's coming um but yeah if you have any questions on that if you have any questions on my live streaming like i said before i am pretty much i'm playing tales of Estria. that's the first game i'm going to play if you have any suggestions on what you want to see me play in the future feel free to go ahead and comment below because i'm i'm open to anything honestly as long as it's not too expensive i don't have like all the money in the world to buy every single game you know but yeah, definitely Tales of Zestria first. And if there's, you know, something you guys suggest and I want to play that as well, I'll go ahead and check it out and then, you know, pick that as the next game to live stream. But yeah, if you have any questions on that, or if, of course, you have any questions on any of the crazy things that I did talk about, the Sword Art Online stuff, Bungo Stray Dogs, or Don Machi, if you want to just talk about how excited you are for any of those things as well, feel free to comment below. It's always awesome to hear you guys' opinions and thoughts. That's why, of course, I, you know, made these vlogs because I want to discuss all the crazy things that I found and see what you guys think about it as well. So do not be afraid. Feel free to comment below if you want to. And yeah, if you did enjoy, don't forget to like if you haven't 
haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more content. And as always, guys, once again, shout out to the amazing James Knapp, man. Thank you for your continued patronage, man. Even in all these times when I've had, you know, trouble with this schedule and everything and missing vlogs and everything, you've still been you know, continuing your patronage, so thank you once again, you're awesome, dude, and yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys, hope you enjoyed this Anime Kingdom vlog, and until next time, guys, see ya!